Today's video is going to change your life. We're talking about how AI chatbots can elevate, engage, and enrich everything that you do. Everything, everything. We're talking about your personal life. We're talking about your business. We're talking about your business and your personal life. <laughs> We're going to give you 25 plus ways. Uh, I had to limit it because I was like, and then, and then, and then, and then there's so many different ways, but we're, we're going to start with an introduction to AI chatbots so you can understand exactly what that is. Cause some of you may not be AI savvy yet or savvy enough to know what an AI chatbot is. So we're going to start with that, educate you on what, a, what a chatbot is, some of its capabilities, and then we're going to dive right in to some use cases. Uh, the top four use cases that we've discovered because of the industry that we're in. The first is real estate. So if you're watching this and you're a real estate agent, real estate broker, pay attention, my friends, because we've got a lot to talk about today. The second is real estate boards or real estate schools. Same thing. If you run a school, you're part of a real estate board, or you are a member of a real estate board in leadership or some kind of volunteer position, huge value that you can provide to your members. There's so much information a lot of times on your website, they just can't find it. So an AI chatbot would come in in that situation, plus add value. One of the events, how do I get my license? All the rest of the frequently asked questions that come in. The third use case that we'll talk about today uh, in more in depth is coaches, instructors, trainers, and speakers. So if you fall into those categories, maybe you're a trainer at your company, maybe you're a trainer at your office, maybe you're a coach where you coach people on certain things, could be a life coach, business coach, health coach, whatever that might be, uh, or a speaker. So any kind of resources, right? Imagine for a second, if you were able to provide resources to people that you want to help 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, and that could be monetized, or you could just have it password protected so that only your students can access it entirely up to you. Uh, I'll give you my chat bot by the end of today. You could test it out and have fun with it because I believe in adding value to your life and the proof is in the pudding. Now the fourth. Bum, bum, bum. The fourth really great one uh, that we're going to demonstrate to you today is events. Are you or have you ever been involved in an event? Yes. The yeah, short answer is yes. Right. Many events we've discovered uh, in, in talking to event planners, you know, the apps that they use are super clunky because once an app is loaded with a bunch of information, uh, it slows down. It's hard to search. It's hard to work with. And they follow you everywhere as far as privacy is concerned. Uh, if you don't have your permission set correctly, the app in the permission says, we're going to follow you everywhere you go, even when you're not in the app. Guess what? AI chatbot doesn't do that. We can provide a lot of the same. It can provide a lot of the same information and then some and answer intelligently rather than just what's in the app. Uh, if there isn't an answer, won't give it. We'll show you that. All right. And as, as we continue, as we proceed to give you what you need. Uh, please just put any questions you might have in the chat, in the comments, whether you're watching on Instagram, you're watching on LinkedIn, you're watching on Facebook, or you're watching this on YouTube on the playback, uh, leave a comment with any question you might have, or maybe you're thinking of a specific use case, because I guarantee you, whatever business you're in, product or service, an AI chatbot can help. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. You know what? Every time I have, we have a good idea, we go like this. Ching for you. So we're going to share our screen and let's get started. Move my head down. Okay. AI chatbot for business owners. What is an AI chatbot? Well, an AI chatbot is an advanced tool powered by cutting edge artificial intelligence technology. Look at you should know. Uh, think of it as if you hired an assistant. And that assistant knew everything there was to know from April 2023 and before. That assistant was able to think 125,000 times faster than you. And that assistant, any additional information or knowledge that you gave it would remember everything, every detail. So the knowledge base gets better. And as you have more conversations with it, the more intelligent it gets and it learns as it goes. Okay. So think of... Uh, all of the things that I that I just discussed, and let me fix this because I don't like how this is uh, looking on my on my screen over here. Got to bring this up just a little bit. Okay, there we go. So, like I said, it it will give accurate responses and improved efficiency twenty four seven. 
you have, if you're in real estate and you have a, a potential inquiry that comes in at three o'clock in the morning, cause that potential uh, prospect works nights because they're a nurse. I have a client right now that's a nurse that works nights. And that's when a lot of her questions come in. Guess what I'm doing at night? Well, guess what my chat bot can do? Provide service, provide answers, provide resources, right? Today's modern consumer doesn't, doesn't want to hear from you necessarily via phone. I was having a conversation with somebody yesterday and they're like, ah, oh, so annoying when I text somebody. This was a, a uh, a consumer. So annoying when I text somebody, or I just want to get information from their website and they want, they want to hop on a phone call. Like if I wanted to hop on a phone call with you, I would have picked up the phone and dialed your number. Okay. So human like responses through the power of NLP, not neuro linguistic program, which you may be familiar with, but natural language processing. Uh, the best advice we can always give you, not just you interacting with an AI chatbot, but your, your clients, or anyone, it's just have a conversation. If you're not sure what to say, you know what you could say? That you're not sure what to say. Oh, I'm not sure, how can I, how can you help me to teach you about my business, right? Uh, it gets better as time goes. So some of the things I'm gonna show you today will be better even tomorrow, will be better next week, will be better as you train it uh, with your knowledge and your expertise, but also as you have inquiries coming in, as conversations happen, it learns from the conversations. You can fine tune it as you go. So it's not like a one and done. You build the chat bot, you never touch it again. It's consistently getting better and improving. Now, data collection and insight. First of all, let me say this. It's not tracking your location or even who you are. Uh, chat bots, AI chat bots, the, one that, the ones that we're talking about today, it's anonymous. The user is anonymous unless you want to input a lead form in there. Now you could put in a lead form or some kind of call to action, but I believe in giving first, right? Givers gain philosophy. Uh, we're in a permission-based marketing world. Nobody wants to register first because your information is so valuable. So it can gather data from those interactions, right? You want people to interact with it first. Maybe you know, we can, it can be said to be, okay, after six or eight conversations, it then says, hey, would you like to continue? Uh, you know, please input your name and email. That's it. It could be that simple. Or you don't have it at all. Or you have specific calls to action to a squeeze page, right? If Would you like our, our first-time homebuyer guide? Would you like our seller guide? Would you like our, you know, how to find off-market listings? Would you like to be added to our off-market our exclusive off-market listing uh, VIP client lists. All of that could be in there and improve you know, your conversion, your responsiveness and engagement really because you wouldn't be able to have those conversations if you're with a client, out with clients, on a listing appointment doing something uh, that's an income producing activity, okay? Regardless of what your business is. Customer support, customer support uh, it is important, but you know, customer support is only as good as the people that are trained to give that support. Sometimes they don't have the answers and they're not always available, right? You can't pay somebody to work for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, but a chatbot is available. Doesn't take breaks, doesn't smoke, doesn't eat, doesn't believe in holidays. It is always available. So not it's not just like a chat that could be on your website. It could also, you know, it's a URL that we provide or that's provided and you could send it in a text message. You could have it in your email signature. You could do Instagram DM. You could do Facebook Messenger. Any way that you want to send it, it can be sent. And it can handle multiple conversations simultaneously, which I, I can't even do. Can I? Kind of. I like, but not effectively. Okay, so you can engage your customers directly with prompt and friendly responses. Somebody wants service. Somebody wants to know like, hey, how am I going to know about how much money to bring to closing? Or, hey, uh, you're a broker and you have an agent that has an open house tomorrow. I got an open house tomorrow. Uh, what do I do? What do I say? Do you have an open house checklist? Right? All of these things could be made available as we talk about the different use cases. Okay, beyond customer service, like I was saying, uh, it can be a sales assistant. So you yourself, if you're uh, in sales, you may not always know what to say, right? Especially with, with the NER settlement and you're like, ah, compensation, what do I say? Or I'm working with a buyer. 
uh, and again, I'm going to give you my, my AI chatbot. You can test it up. I'm working with the buyer and I didn't talk about my exclusive right to represent or my exclusive buyer's agent uh, contract. What do I say now? Because <laughs> times they are changing. I can help you. Okay, you're out door knocking. Somebody asks you a question. You don't know, you don't know how to respond as you walk away. Pull out your phone. Boom. You got the you got the chat, and you can ask it questions like, "Hey, I just said this. What would be a better response?" Uh, employee onboarding and training. Employee or independent contractor, depending on your company and and business structure. Once you have a system in place, right? Once you have a training manual, let's say, uh, it, it makes it easier to produce versions of you. If you're a team leader, if you're a broker, if you're a, a business owner of any kind, you could train the chat bot, all of your systems, all of your SOPs, standard operating procedures, which depending on where you are in the United States, you need that. It's required. New York State, you have to have that. Okay. It's also an online advisor and also personal assistant, right? Uh, I feel overwhelmed. My schedule's really crazy. Can you help me to schedule my day to be the most productive possible. Here's the things that I have to do. I have to do, let me just move this over a little bit. I have to do prospecting. I have to go to my son's baseball game. I have to eat. I have to go to the gym. Here's the time I want to allocate to each. Help me. Help me, please. Okay. It'll do that for you. But wait, there's more, right? And the sales assistant, uh, you, you may have systems and processes already in place. Let's make them better, right? You, maybe you have a checklist that you give to uh, your clients early on in the, in, in the process or when, when the sale happens or after the sale or after the closing. Well, they can make it better. I can't tell you how many times I've taken a form that I've been using for years and say, how can we improve this? And it goes, here are my suggestions based on my expertise, okay? Ask further questions to engage. What else would you do? How else would you make this better? Uh, and it can help you close the sale because it's going to answer the questions maybe a little bit better than you would, okay? I don't like how something looks. Do we have any questions so far? I'm going to make this a little smaller because this is bugging me. There we go. There we go. Okay. Onboarding and training, like we said, deep understanding of companies' policies and procedures. Uh, then you know it's done the same way every single time. You could have uh, quizzes and tests set up. You could have videos that are part of the, part of the training. Uh, and and really, it's like that that support. If you're a manager or an owner of a business, you want to be there for your people, but you can't always be right. Maybe you have a family event. Maybe you're on a boat. Maybe you're camping. Maybe you're flying in the air because you have to travel somewhere, but you still need support for your people. Well, this can provide it, you know, once you train it on your knowledge and expertise in your brain, now you're cloning yourself in a way. Okay. The online advisor, this is for the coaches, for the trainers, for the instructors, again, answering questions with your expertise. Uh, this could be monetized. You could train it in a way, right? Charge access to the chat bot. Uh, if, if that's part of your business model, like if you're a coach and you coach people, you can say, here's what it costs, but you'll also have access to my chat bot. Or here's just my, my chat bot price. And you have access to that 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, and, and it's exclusive. So it could be password protected. Okay, personal assistant. Talked about it already, but quick access. Content creation, which we always talk about. You know, videos you want to make, social media, th those kinds of things. It can do that for you. It's like a personalized GPT uh, specializing in your business. Uh, and it's actually using the most updated form of GPT, GPT 4.0 on the back end. So super quick. Benefits, 24-7, 365. Efficiency and cost savings simultaneously handle multiple inquiries with these. Consistency and accurate response. It's trained on your data and it will get it right. <laughs> Humans won't. Humans will not always, right? You could train them again and again and again, but there's no way you could guarantee it's exactly the same and they're going to re remember every single detail like this. Uh, and it will provide guidance and make relationships better because I want answers now. If I'm a consumer, I want to go to your site and go, I want to know first-time home buyer programs, not contact us and then wait for a freaking email. You nuts. Not in today's day and age. Okay. How it works, hop on a call, build a chat bot. We do a demonstration for you. 
uh, that chatbot get installed on your website, we actually then would, would fine tune it, monitor it, see what the responses are. You could give it to some of your clients or trusted friends to test and refine. That's how we make it better. And then, um, you know, each, each month or as new chats happen, we would share reports with you on its usage, but also the chats, right? What are the conversations? Are there areas where we feel that it can be improved or refined? Because it will always get better. Progress, not perfection. All right. Thank you. You want to book your demo? Go to info at bigbrainchatbots.com. But let's get into some demonstrations. I'm not feeling your excitement, folks. So let's go over here. Okay. I'm going to go over here. Where do we want to go first? Hmm. All right. We're going to go to real estate. Start the real estate site. Uh, this is a site, as you see, as a real estate agent. And you see in the, if, if you're watching this on Facebook, uh, it's on the lower right-hand corner. If you're watching this on Instagram, you cannot see it because you can only see my middle third. But watch, here, I'll show you. Yeah, whoop. No, I can't because once I slide it off, it's going to go off the screen. But it's basically, you've seen it before. The little chat in the corner. Now there could be an audible signal that says, bing! Hey, there's a chat bot here in the corner. Okay, so I'm going to click that. Boom, 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 boom. And here's what happens. Pops up. Here, we're going to actually try to bring this over again. So you can see this. Okay, that, that'll that work like that. That'll work like that. Okay. Um, I was playing with it before, obviously, but let's let's go into... The number one use case, before we get into, um, I did client registration, I didn't want to click that. But the number one use case for this is, guess what? Compensation, right? Compensation in the future will not be allowed to be in the MLS. You should know this by now, right? This can be embedded on your website, and you can update it with all of your listings and the compensation information. So a buyer could say, hey, how much is the compensation on that property? So could a buyer's agent. So we're talking about full transparency. And if a buyer wants to search based on, um, you know, the, the compensation and, and the agreement that they have with their agent, makes it that much easier, okay? So we could do a client registration. You could have VIP client tools in here. You could have vendor lists uh, that are password protected. I mean, what a great way to demonstrate value to your clients. Like, I have this special section only for you. Okay, but what's my home value? If I clicked on that, right, that's a CMA. It's very popular rate. Right? Could you please provide me the address of your home and any updates you have done? Okay, one, two, three, banana street. Now, this isn't going to do the CMA or the home equity estimate for you. It's just collecting the information so that when you get a copy of the chat, it has it there, and then you can do, the, do your CMA, however you're doing that. Okay, thanks. Have you done any updates to your home at 123 Banana Street? All of the things. Okay, now we used to have something similar with Messenger bots uh, with Facebook Messenger, but if it didn't ask you exactly, if you didn't answer exactly the way we programmed it, it would be like, I do not understand, cannot compute, and it would explode, okay, which I didn't like. And so gave it just very basic, couple questions. Now let's keep going. Uh, new listings. Okay, again, we go like this. This is updated as you input new listings. This would get updated with your new listings and the information, right? So more details. Um, I'm not going to click it. Um, yes, I want to set up a showing. Yes, I do. Now you could have uh, a Calendly set up if you wanted to, to schedule showings or, or your availability to schedule showings. Like that would automate the process so that you don't have to slow down the flow, if you will, be more efficient. Great, would you like to set up a showing for the Maquan home or uh, Plymouth home? Uh, Plymouth. Let's go, I'm going to Plymouth. Okay, phone number 585-484-0505. That's my real number, cool, right? Set up a time for the showing, the schedule, and okay, if I click that schedule appointment, that's gonna go to Calendly with already set up. Uh, but if it wasn't Calendly, Google also has a, a, a pretty decent one. It's booking.google.com, I think, something like that. Okay, so you could set that up. 
Demonstration done. Um, and then we have new listings that we have thinking of selling. Boop. Great. Can I get your phone number so they can reach out to you? You have it. Okay, and then it sets up a time. Anything I should know about spelling, about being a first time home buyer? Oh yeah, there you go, 80-10-10 rule. This is really good. Yes, I would like a detailed buyer guide, yes. Please. Great. Please provide your email. Jmansells at Hotmail. That's my spam email. Boop. Here's the buyer guide. Badooge. See? Hold on. I forgot about my sound effects. Great service. Great service. So any kind of guide that you have, seller's guide, military relocation, relocation guide, like this could all be loaded in there. But the biggest thing is the compensation, right? The compensation. And then, okay, this is the consumer facing side of this. You have that VIP side for your clients, but wait, there's more. Then you have the training and onboarding for your agents or just ongoing training for team members, anything, anybody. I know. Awesome. Okay. Next use. What am I going to do next? Do, 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 do. It's bigbrainchatbots.com, but let me see where I'm going to go. No, I'm going to go to mine. Okay. This is J Man's Business Builder Bot. Bring it back over here. Okay. I'm going to put this link for you in the comments. Now, this is just me providing service to you so you can see what it's like to interact with one. Uh, it, again, if you're a coach, instructor, trainer, you could, this is trained on my knowledge base. Boop, boop, boop. Put that in the comments. The coffee press in Batavia. Oh, that's where you're at. Um, why is that taking so long to, to go there? Okay, I'm going to put it here on Instagram as well. Okay, now if I ask it any kind of question, let's see. Equipment. What kind of equipment do you recommend, mister? Okay. Perfect. You see that? So uh, one, the number one inquiry I get, I've, I've gotten it 1,273 times uh, via Facebook Messenger anyways before I went to this system is Equipment. What kind of equipment do you recommend? I talk a lot about video, talk a lot about social media. So I organized it on an Amazon storefront. Uh, you could do it with a keyword. You can come here and I actually, I think I have it on my link tree uh, as well. Okay. But if somebody wanted to know my top sessions, they go here. Boop. Let's see what the top sessions are. We thought you'd never ask. Yeah, here you go. Okay, you get the idea. Uh, this information is available. So, so if you have a website and then a lot of the information is on there, we said this in the beginning, but if you're coming on late, like there's so much information on many websites that consumers don't go on past the main page or they don't go too deep if it's too hard to find. And maybe you have a search feature on your site, but depending on how things are tagged, it's still not able to search that well. Well, this is perfect because it, 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 it's trained on everything that's on your site. And, they, and they, if they ask a question, if that resource is available on your site, then it will, will help them. Okay. Next one. For your real estate boards, some of you are involved with a real estate board. You volunteer there or something, right? Hey, we're happy. We, we're never too busy for your referrals. Uh, if you look at classes coming up or you want to know what kind of events, let's see. What classes are coming up? Do, 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 do. Would you like in person or online? Cool. Online. Uh, live online or on demand? Ooh, I want on demand. 
Now your real estate board may have a bunch of information listed in their site, but in order for you to find what's what what uh, trainings they have to offer, look at this. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This is GRAR, my local board, Greater Rochester Association of Realtors. Holler. Okay. Uh, if I wanted to become an agent, CE requirements, if I click that. Grandfathering. There's a lot of questions about this, right? We, we need three hours of fair housing in New York, an hour of recent legal matters, two and a half hours of ethical business practice, one hour of agency, two hours of cultural competency education, and two hours of implicit bias education. Like, nobody's going to remember that. I'm an instructor, trainer, speaker, and I sometimes don't remember that. Okay? So it's good to have that information in there. And then how to, you know, become a broker, all the rest of that. Get the idea. Last but not least, use case. And then we'll open up for any kind of questions you may have. But last but not least, here's an event. So if you're if you're involved with not-for-profits or you're involved with event planning at your real estate board or any other business on the planet Earth, uh, maybe you're a photographer and you do photos for events or you're involved with weddings or anything, any event, uh, we can right better than the apps that they provide or they print out a big brochure and it's clunky and it's hard to read all the things you could hop in and just go hey what's the event schedule i would like to know about tuesday please <laughs> cool man so that's tuesday's schedule see how fast this is see how fast i get the information booyah okay let's look at uh oh, i'm gonna say this because this this conference is in memphis how far is the hotel from graceland did i spell that right graceland right is that right i think so I mean, okay, let's get it. What about um, great places for karaoke? Carry, I always spell this wrong. It's, that's wrong, but I don't care. It'll go, it'll, it'll know, it'll know. See, I knew it. Okay, there, I spelled it right. Uh, Midtown, Rock House Live, Midtown. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Come on, don't act like you're not impressed. <laughs> Uh, you could even have, if you had speakers that wanted to give their, their slide deck or additional resources, this would be here under speaker resources, uh, hotel information, room location for things, or if people still needed to register, right? Hotel info. Boop. I'm going to ask it something else. I'm going to ask it what the weather is going to be like. What's the weather? Yikes. Weather gonna be like what it be like oh and next i'll ask it what's the dress code highs mid to high 80s okay cool okay i'm running I'm really going to get early in the morning. This might stump it. Should I bring cold gear? Light layers? Consider bringing light layers. You... Dude, this is so good. Okay, I'm going to say, what about running? Where should I run? Best areas to run that are safe. Oh, I said beat. Oh, there we go. There we go. I thought I would stump it on this, but I didn't. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I think this is... Germantown Greenway, Green Line Trail. 
I love it. I love it. And I made it. Sometimes I amaze myself. Okay, we're going to come back over here and then ask you what other questions might you have today? We have a very quiet audience today. Here we go. Gregory Antipoff said, boom, there we go, Greg. Why isn't I not adding it to the broadcast? I don't like that. There we go, boom. Okay, Greg, this, for you, this is a must have. All the knowledge you have on accounting and all the accounting questions that you have to answer all the time, even when you just wanna <laughs> eat lunch at a conference. Greg, I have a quick question for you about my taxes. And you're like, sure, how can I help? Okay. Uh, all right. Well, again, uh, you could shoot us an email info at bigbrainchatbots.com. Bigbrainchatbots.com. Uh, send us an email or, yeah, we're, give us like 10 minutes. We're going to set up a secret. You're going to need the password. Let me think of what the password might be. I got to write this down. Password is going to be. Rocky, R-O-Q-U-I. That's my middle name for those that didn't know. Rocky is the password, R-O-Q-U-I. That's going to give you a discount code. That's not the discount code. You have to actually go to the bot. Not yet. Wait, because I have to program this in. You have to go to the bot and you have to say, hey, what's the discount code? It's going to ask for a password. The password will be Rocky. And then we'll give you a discount code. Uh, we'll make it good for the next... 48 hours for anybody that wants to uh, book a call and get a chatbot because we're changing the world. All right. Any more questions? Any other? Let me look up on the Instagram. Nothing. I'm going to give it a second and wait for you because there's a little bit of a lag. I don't see. Oh, where is the bot pulling the info from? Okay. Great question, Billy. So the bot's pulling the information from a couple different places. We, number one, we would train the bot on all the information that you have available. So if you're an agent and you have a website, it's going to learn everything on your website. But any additional resources and knowledge base that you have at your disposal, you can provide to us. It could be a doc. It could be a PowerPoint. It could be a PDF. Uh, it could be videos that you've created. Right? Maybe they're tutorial videos. Those are fantastic. We could just take that and, and then... Think of if every video you made that's on your YouTube channel, we could take that information and train the bot on it. Or maybe you have a, a really good resource for information, uh, points of interest in Montana, okay, things like that. But it also has access to the internet, so I think that's where it was pulling. I hadn't trained it on the running trails or the weather, uh, so that's where it was pulling that information from. And that's that's the huge difference between an AI chat bot and a messenger bot that we used to make before. Like if somebody asked a question that I hadn't already pre-programmed the answer to with a messenger bot, it would just say, um, I don't understand. Contact J-Man for more information. But with AI, it's an independent thinker. It's independent thinker has access to the internet. It goes, okay, you asked me a question about the weather. <laughs> Let's find out the weather. And I didn't even ask it for the, I just said weather during the conference. It already knows and remembers the dates of the conference, looks that information up then tells me where to run. Now, could it help you with travel as well? Yes. Booking travel? Yes. Finding places to stay? Yes. Finding hotels and, and proximity to a conference? Yes. Right? That's one of my biggest challenges is like going to a conference. I want the cheapest hotel that's within the brand that I like, but also close proximity to where I have to be. If it's walking distance, walking distance is preferred, short, Uber, Lyft or scooter. If they have a scooter, that's even better. Uh, I was in Jacksonville one time and I saved a hundred dollars a day on my hotel because I booked right across the river and I rode a scooter every day for six dollars with my backpack. It was cool. Okay. Good question though. Billy, Billy P. All right. I'm going to put all these, uh, these bots that I've shared with you. I'm going to put them in the comments, but again, the one that's there, jman.bigbrainchatbots in embed, or you can go to jmanbot.com. Actually, we'll also take you there, jmanbot.com. 
We'll also take it to my bot. Boom, boom. We like cool bots and we do not lie. Do, 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 do. All right, that should work. Well, folks, thank you so much. My name is Jeremiah Straman Monero with J-Man Speaks. Uh, we thank you for spending some time with us and make it a great day. Thank you.